Hi, my name is John Gallant. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new Azure CLI credential inside of a container. The Azure CLI credential is a new type inside of the Azure Identity Library. It allows you to use the Azure CLI to generate bearer tokens to be used by other Azure SDKs. In this example, we're newing up an Azure CLI credential and passing it to the Azure Key Vault client. When the get key async method is called, under the covers, we'll call the get token method of Azure CLI credential, which will use the Azure CLI to get a token to be used by the key client. This all works on your local machine without a problem, but when you containerize your application, you'll need to one, install the Azure CLI in your container, and you'll also need to mount a volume to your .azure folder so that you're automatically logged into your container. Now let's just quickly build that app. I am in VS Code and I have a git bash terminal open. I'm gonna create a new project, .NET new console. I'm gonna to output to the current directory and I'm gonna name it Azure CLI credential container. I'm gonna add a reference to the latest preview of Azure Identity using this NuGet package manager extension. But type in Azure Identity, hit enter, and then it's gonna show me all the available versions. I'm gonna select the latest preview, which is the one you need in order to use the Azure CLI credential directly. I'm gonna restore inside of my project here, I'm going to new up an Azure CLI credential. I'm gonna say yes. Required assets to build and debug are missing. I'm just gonna say yes. That's gonna create my launch and task files here. I'm gonna new up an Azure CLI credential. I'm gonna add the using statement now you can call the get token methods directly, but the power comes in when you use the clients. So I'm gonna add another NuGet package, Azure security dot key vault. I'm gonna add the key client. I'm gonna add the latest preview. I'm gonna click restore. So I'm gonna new up this client and it's called a key client. The first parameter is a URI to your key vault. And I already have an existing key vault, John G key vault, Azure uh, vault dot Azure dot net. The second parameter is a credential object. So I'm going to add this using statement. So Azure CLI credential just going to F12 that you can see all of the token based credentials are inherited from the token credential class inside of Azure core. So the key client, the second parameter, and we F12 that the second parameter is token credential. So you can pass any of the credential classes. In this case, we're going to pass in Azure CLI credential. Now we're just going to get a key. We'll say client dot get key. We'll use the async method. We'll call it We'll get key one. Now we need to await this and we need to change this to async main method. I'm gonna add that using for tasks. Let's just write it out to the console. Key dot value dot name. All right, let's have five this. It should just print key one. Great. So it does that because we've already done an AZ login. So if you get a failure there, it says you're not authenticated, then you just come here and you say AZ login. It'll automatically log you in and you will see key one. Now let's containerize it. Control shift P and using the Docker extension, I can say add Docker files to workspace. I'm gonna choose .NET Core console Linux, I'm going to include the Docker Compose files. So let's take a look at what's happening. So the Docker file that's created by default does a .NET restore, .NET build, publish, 
and then just starts with the .NET command. So let's do a Docker compose up and see what happens. So Docker compose up build. That was super fast because I've already done that on this machine. But as you can see here, it says the Azure CLI is not installed. So first things first, you need to install the Azure CLI in your Docker file. Super, super easy to do that. So back to GitHub repo, we're just gonna add this one line of code to your Docker file and make sure it's in your final layer. Okay, we're gonna run that again. Docker compose up again. The first time you do this is gonna take a while, but I've already done it, so it's pretty quick. Okay, so new error. So please run AZ login to set up account. This is because in the container we haven't logged in yet. Obviously, if we have to log in every time, it kind of defeats the purpose of doing this at all. Um, so what we need to do is map a volume from your localhost into your container so that within the container, it thinks that you're logged in. Inside of your user folder, there's a .azure folder, and that is everything you need to tell your container that you're already logged in. So let's map that to our container. So open up your Docker Compose back to GitHub repo. We're gonna copy the volume statement here into our Docker Compose right under image. What this is saying is gonna mount the user profile slash .azure to root.azure inside of the container. Let's do a Docker compose up build again. And this should print key one. Yep, there you go. So that's how you get Azure CLI credential working in a container. Now, if you wanna see other languages or operating systems, or you need help figuring this out, please do leave a comment or you know file an issue on the GitHub repo. The URL for that repo is github.com, John G.I.O. Azure CLI Credential Container, and I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. Have a great day.